Welcome to Genuine Corner guys. In the last video we have seen how to fetch data from the database and in this video I think we should go for uh, looking into how to insert data into the database. I mean in the uh, second video I have shown uh, inserting data using the insert into command in the MySQL workbench like insert into our users and what do I want to do is I want to do that insertion operation from my program from my Java program itself so for that let us create a simple GUI a JFrame I'm going to the new and the JFrame form so DB2 then we have a beautiful JFrame window here and what I want is first I want to create a connection to the database so uh, I am fed up with this comment section. And let me remove these pre generated comments one by one. So it's gone now. And what I want is first, I want to call this create connection from my DB2 program itself because before doing any kind of operation on the database, I have to make a connection to the database. So here I'm going to copy and paste it, and here. I don't want to create a statement or I don't want to fetch data from the database yet because I just I'm just inserting data into the database so from the constructor I'm going to call the create connection method so whenever I run this program this create connection will be automatically called so that's not a problem and <coughs> in the UA section I need a text field for typing the name of users to be inserted into the database so that is text field and I need a button so I'm going to select a J button and that's it so I'm going to say this insert please so when I click on this insert please button the string that is present in this text field will be inserted into our database so for that I'm going to change the variable name in order to access it from the program. I'm going to set it as input. And when I whenever I press on this button, I want to make the corresponding call to the database. So events action action performed. So I have to write the program here. So first thing I want to do is I want to read the name of the user from or the text that is to be inserted from this section. So string name equals input dot get text. So whatever written on the text field is now is in the name section and <clears throat> we have to create a connection. We have to create a statement object remember. Uh, so I'm going for this a connection global variable so connection connection so that's it then connection so now it is global and I can access it in, access it from right here so statement stmt equals con dot then there are different types of statement there is an option called prepare statement and it allows us to create prepare statement I think I will explain that in the next video uh, for now let us create the uh, sample symbol statement so con dot create statement and I have to run the block with the try catch of course then I got the statement then what I want to do is I want to insert the name into the database for that we usually use the insert into command and I'm going to prepare that so string query or the things db operation that is to be done is insert into the table name which is users and we have to give values and what we want to do is there is always a single course between the starting I mean uh, before the starting and after the completion of each and every name so uh, that's why we are going behind the prepared statement because the system will automatically generate that but, but in order to let you understand the execution of bare SQL commands I have to use this one so then stm the name so what is happening is i am actually doing something like ins creating something like insert into users values and i am inserting something like genuine code like this so for getting this single quote and this single quote i have done this much copy 
So that's fine. And what we need to do is I have to execute this DB operation. So that will be stmt dot execute query. But uh, the diff there is different types of. Uh, we are not actually uh, executing a query. A query is something that retrieves data from the database, like selection, select a star from or select name from the database name that we have seen earlier. What we are here doing, what we are doing here is just an execute of operation. So I'm just going to the execute and I'm going to execute the DB operation. Yes. So that's it. Now it is completed and if there comes any uh, exception this one will take care of it and now let us run the program <clears throat> uh, before that you have to close a statement after use that's very important uh, always make sure that once you create a statement you must close it in the previous video i forgot it but you must close it okay so i'm going to shift f6 so I got my beautiful window and here I'm going to insert some simple names like uh, micro, oh no, I like Linux, Linux Mint and I'm going to press on insert this button and nothing has happened because I haven't written any system or doubt or print you know, or something like that. Let me add one more name, Ubuntu, then insert this. So I think it's completed. I'm going to the MySQL workbench and execute some kind of select star from users then i'm going to execute it as you can see there is linux min and ubuntu so that's it guys that's how you insert data into the database from your database program so for the sake of simplicity let me just run this program again so from here also we should get all the names from the database so select star from users and there is also an instance of the database is running, so I have to just close it and let me run the program. So there is an error. So let's see what is an error. So mydb.user doesn't exist, which means there is no table called user. The table name is obviously users. Let me run the code again, and there you can see there is Ubuntu and Linux Mint, which is we added programmatically. And so that's it guys, that's the end of this video and next video I will show you how to use prepared statement for inserting data into the database. So as always, thank you for watching this video, like the video if you like it and subscribe for more cool videos.